Okay, so we're out here replacing a existing Pentair Stay Right 1.7 horsepower motor with a Hayward TriStar variable speed pull pump. So 1.7 horsepower, horsepower motor, Centurion motor with a Stay Right pump, and have two inch couplings there that I've also just loosened up and uh, cleaned up. It is on a concrete pad. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove that. Okay, so we have the pump removed here. And you'll notice that the uh, concrete pads were under there, but they were really, really dirty. See, this one is the spa pump for the uh, jets, and it uh, just has paver as a base, uh, but just a concrete paver. Whereas this actually has a poured concrete base, but uh, when it rains, it water accumulates right there and right there. So I dug a, sort of a surrounding. I'm going to put some, you know, some aligners around there so that when it rains, the gravel and debris doesn't get up in there. Um, so there it is, the two-inch pipe connectors. And we'll go ahead and put in the new pump. And for wiring, you'll see you have three lines coming out that are... L1, L2, and then the green is the ground. Now also I have a separate ground as well. It's always a good idea. Okay, I have put the control panel back on and I'm about to put the uh, lid and fire this thing up. Don't forget to put the uh, silicone lubricant on the uh, rubber gasket in there. Okay, she's running. Um, you can see there the uh, pressure. I am only running it at 2,000 RPM, and it's using about 319, 320 watts. The amazing thing is, is the previous pump that was 1.7 horsepower would be using close to 3,500, 4,000 watts, I'm told. So it's running my pool pump. Barely, i probably max that out at about, I don't know, 2,500 maybe 3,000 RPM, but uh, holy crap, this is like a Prius. Okay, so we've got it running at 2,500 RPM. Look at that, 580 watts. We'll see, just from what I know of my uh, pool cleaner there, that uh, I have about 12,500 gallons in here. And I also have the Pentair <laughs> VacMate. So it shares pumps between the, cause I only have one skimmer. So you can hear the vacuum goes down, it opens up the skimmer more, or I can close the skimmer and you can feel the RPM of the, uh, of the uh, cleaner going out. So I usually keep it at around three shares the uh, cleaning duties rather well, but I'm finding 2,500 RPM is about the sweet spot, maybe a little more. And finally, this is how you can tell it's working. It's running at 1,000 RPM. So I run everything out to the spa through here and suck up through the main drain and the skimmer. But you can see it's not enough power to uh, power the pool cleaner but just enough water trickling over and we'll go take a look and you can hear the cicada buzzing which is louder than this pool pump isn't that amazing so right now it's running at 1000 rpm 62 watts it's barely what it takes to uh, power a light bulb very impressive, very quiet. So you run it at 1,000 RPM for 
a longer amount of time, and that's how you save your electricity.